Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. How are we all doing? Chidima Adechina, who is Miss Universe Nigeria, and Mia, who is Miss South Africa, are currently in Mexico for Miss Universe Beauty Pageant 2024. A lot has been going on concerning Chidima's identity being cancelled in South Africa and that of her mother. I did a video a few days ago and I asked why is it that Huma Fair feel that this is the right time for them to release the cancellation of Chidima's identity because I feel they were trying to use it against her if you ask me that is my own opinion you don't even have to agree with me but then it shows that it is working on her favor so I saw this video of a South African girl who totally understand and who totally see it from my own perspective I want you guys to watch that video then we'll come back to talk about it hi Sansi we need to talk like I feel that we I feel that we need to address this matter Yaga Chidima, the home affairs, and our Miss S.A. Mia Honestly speaking, I feel like every single time when our girl, Miss S.A., is supposed to be trending, the home affairs will release a statement about Chidima that they know, Khuri, it's going to, you know, make South Africans talk about her and pushing Chidima in the mm -hmm. algorithm. And internationally, it looks as though, Tina, we are bullying with Chidima. Chidima is being bullied. And they'll be like, oh, shame, man. Sorry, man, they are bullying you on the internet, whatsoever. And probably our girl, Miss S.A., is, is being looked at as the bad person that side because obviously, obviously she's from South Africa and she's representing South Africa. Like, why did the Home Affairs choose that now was the right time to release the statement? Couldn't they have given Chidima and her par and her mom and her parents until the end of September to, to, to present their documentation, to present their birth certificates and whatsoever. They literally waited for the 28th of October, knowing that on the 29th of October, the girls are leaving for Miss Universe, and on the 30th, they are arriving. So obviously, the news would have caught on in South Africa, and Chidima's name will be up there. I swear it feels like our home affairs and the Nigerian government work together to ensure that Chidima is in the algorithm. It, it's just, it's so weird. When Miss, when Mia LaRue won Miss S.A., Chidima was trending. Now that Mia LaRue is in Mexico, Chidima is trending. And guess what? None of our blogs are doing anything about it. No one is talking about Mia LaRue. I guess everyone now will be talking about Chidima. Fair enough, because it's a big thing. Illegal immigration is a big thing in South Africa. However... All I'm saying is, can we stop taking our shine, the shine of our girl? Like, can we literally put our, like, let our girl trend? Can we talk about her? Do you know how big this is going to be? The first deaf Miss Universe. Can you imagine how big that is for people that are differently enabled? Can you imagine? I mean, this girl won against all odds. She was in competition with people that were very much enabled in every way and she didn't feel any less of a human she didn't feel any she didn't feel inferior to anybody she competed she brought herself to the table and she delivered a hundred a hundred percent and more so can we not worship that and glorify that can we not push our girl i see the blogs are not saying anything album goes the entertainment y'all are not talking about our girl seems right haibo Yolo guys, Ichaiki, fresh trends, red life news, come on guys. Let's push our girl, let's talk about our girl, please. Can we talk about our girl, push her in the algorithm? Because the first deaf Miss Universe, now that is big. I don't know about you, but the first deaf Miss Universe, that is big. Teaching the included how to exclude, sorry, teaching the included how to include the excluded, that's something big. In my opinion, I don't know about you, but like, yeah, you know, people that have been differently enabled have been brushed aside for a long time. And now it's the time that we push for them, you know, that we stand with Mia LaRue and ensure that the world hears her voice. Please, guys, can we do that? Can we, South Africa, do that? When I made that video a few days ago, I asked why is it that South African Home Affair feels that it's the right time for them to release this cancellation? It's been going on for a while and everyone was quiet until a day before they depart to Mexico and they decided to release it. We also saw a petition that was written against her 
by a group in South Africa for her to be disqualified from the Miss Universe Beauty Content 2024. So why do they think it's the right time to release it and why are they petitioning for the disqualification? At this point, I feel that whatever South Africans are doing is actually working in her favor. Remember how she withdrew from the content and then Miss Universe called her, Miss Universe Nigeria called her to come and participate and that's how she became Miss Universe Nigeria. According to the clip we watched, the girl said she feels that Home Affair is working hand in hand with Nigerian government to push Chidema to South Africans to talk about her always forgetting Mia. Do you think she's correct? Because me, I think it's totally a no-no because South Africans are doing whatever they are doing, you know, to bring her down. But then the thing they are doing is working on her favor because as it stands now, nobody is hearing about Mia. Everyone is talking about Chidema Adichina. In Twitter, she's trending. On TikTok, she's trending. YouTube, here, yeah, she's trending. Instagram, she's trending. Facebook, she is trending everywhere. So I made a post sometime in my, my community sub and I asked who is more popular, Chidema or Mia. And people said Chidema is popular for the wrong reason. Fine, she's popular for the wrong reason, but it's working for her. Whatever they are doing to work against her is actually working for her. The petition they are doing, writing against her is working in her favor. Nobody knows Mia, trust me, unless you type on Google, who is Miss South Africa, and she pops up. But right now, everybody knows the story of Chidema Adichina. Everybody is talking about Chidema Adichina. At this point, I feel like they should already get tired and stop, you know, doing everything they are, they are doing. You've already cancelled her documentation or her citizenship. That is if she feels like coming back to the country. For me, I think she's not even interested in coming back to South Africa as of now or later in life because whatever she's doing right now is working for her she already have a lot of things going on for her that she might know she will not be interested in south african citizenship you guys should take it easy life is not always the way we envision it and life is you don't have to hate another person just because a crime her mother committed i always said this and i said it in my last video why she made a mistake of not going to you know answer home affair when she was called to come and clarify about her document that was a huge mistake on her part if she really wanted the documentation back but obviously she doesn't want it back that is why she just dumped it and dumped everything and went for miss universe nigeria yo the hate the hate and i get it i understand the reason why you guys hate nigerians so much right but i promise you if it was the other way around nigerians would never go this far God bloody sick. It's Miss Universe. You're not even the one organizing it. It's you go this far just because you don't like Nigerians? <laughs> uh, if I'm Nigerian, I will avoid this country and the people at all costs, no matter what. But yeah, guys, please go vote for Chidima, even if you don't like this girl, because ah, just download the app, Miss Universe app on your phone and vote for Nigeria. I also said in my last video that I thought we have passed all this. I thought we have moved on according to the comments I get sometimes when I post Chilima's video and people go like, we have moved on, we don't want to stop throwing Chilima on our face. I found out that nobody have moved on from this thing. You guys are still dwelling on A. The Home Affair already said they are bringing Interpol to so, uh, help in the case to bring her back and her mother back and all that. Can we just leave it at that and let them do their job? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please do to subscribe if you have watched up to this point and give this video a massive thumbs up. Thank you so much for your constant support on my channel. I love you all and I will see you in my next one. Bye.